Funzo, it was a, an exciting game and, and a good point to take away from it, but the performance was the main thing, I suppose. Yeah, I think it was a nice game to watch for the neutral fan. Uh, maybe not so much for our fans because it was 2-0 two, two up and uh, you, you, you would have been on the edge of your seat, but um, I think it's a, it's a good point for the club. Obviously, we're disappointed, um, but I think give it 12 to 24 hours and we'll look back on it and we'll be saying, like, oh, that's a good point. Because you've gone to places like Plymouth and Derby this year and you, you've won and you've come and got a point here as well. And is it a matter of learning from those games against the, the perceived bigger sides in the division? Um, it's learning, but it's also just um, realising that we can do this as a, I wouldn't say small club that Port Vale is, but we're new in the league. So it's just good to see that in the first season we, we can do stuff like that. Um, what about your goal? Talk us through it because it caught the goalkeeper on the op and many people watching as well. But the presence of mind to do that, just tell us where what, what it was like from your perspective. Um, I don't know. The ball just fell. Uh, I was waiting it for, for it to have a good lie and, and I, I saw a gap so I just thought let's, let's let it fly. No great all sides to it then, let's just have a go. No, just have a go. I love that. But overall, you know, the midfield was was a key part of today's game, wasn't it, as well? And you had to you had to stand up and be big against some really good experienced players. But you looked like you worked well as a unit, the three of you. I think the unit that's there now is is, is a pretty solid unit. Um, it will only get better when uh, Big Ben is back. But um, especially Tom Pet has been has been excellent in that six. So um, yeah, it's been really good. Has it given you a little bit more freedom to to get up the pitch a little bit more? Notice you were pressing quite high, weren't you? Yeah, um, I do got a little, a lot of energy because I'm not allowed to do a lot of stuff at home. So <laughs> when I get on the pitch, I want to let it all out. So when Tom Pitt started, that helps me out definitely. I should have to think what you're not allowed to do at home now. Well, that I'm allowed to do. <laughs> <laughs> Overall, though, but you know, coming to coming to places like this, playing well and, and a good point, it gives you a lot of confidence for the last eight or so games of the season, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. I've said it here before um, after the Bolton game. Um, left left uh, half of the table, top 12 is the goal and uh, we're still pushing for that. How uh, how difficult is that to achieve though, You know, given the quality that's in this league and uh, the way you look at it as players? Uh, I don't think we think it's a difficult achievement. I think it's, it's there for us for the taking. Is it, is it hard though, though when you've, you know, you've had a bit of a run where you haven't won a game is what I'm trying to say. Is it, it's tough isn't it to crack the top 10 yeah. is what I'm trying to get at. Yeah it is and, and definitely after results like these where you've like been this close and you don't want to keep on saying like we'll do it next week because before you know it it's, it's the middle of May or start of May and then and the, season, the season is done so um, but yeah like I said we, we think it's there for us and we'll just keep performing. You've got a good free week now to, to build on this I imagine training this week will, will be quite you know be quite buoyant won't it It'll be quite high because of what you've achieved today. I think so yeah I definitely hope so yeah.